It's a lot different from uh, where I came from. Uh, it was just more up tempo, style of play, fast pace. I mean, it took two to four months to get adjusted. It was the hardest thing I ever had to deal with, honestly. What was the most difficult part of that, of that transition for you? Uh, conditioning aspect. Uh, I was coming off injury, out of shape. You know, I gained 20 pounds. So coming in, jumping right into the fire, it was a major transition. Now that you've had some time to kind of adjust and practice and play in the scrimmage and play in scrimmages and practice, are you getting comfortable and, and, and familiar with the system pretty well? Uh, yes, I'm getting better with it every day, uh, especially with the leadership of these two guys. Uh, they helped me a lot. You know, they wouldn't let me they wouldn't let me fail. So I mean, it's a good thing. I have the support of these two guys by me along with the team and coaches. Because of the, the contrast in system, I mean, was that what drew you to to, to VCU, the different system, or what was it about VCU that that drew you? Uh, no disrespect to Florida State or anything, but I wanted more of a up-tempo style of play, and I wanted uh, to, to attend a basketball school. And I mean, I can get all of that in one here at VCU, along with a good education. Anything similar you did at FSU that could help you here at VCU? Uh, yes, uh, my defensive principles, pretty much that I learned and everything at FSU, uh, it's, it's a lot similar here, so I just carried that over. It helps a lot. Drew, can you talk a little bit about what, what it's like to have another experience big man with you? Uh, it's great, you know. It, <laughs> you know, um, in the past past year, or so we had you know the struggle with our front court. You know, we didn't have a, a lot of depth, but this year, you know, we got a lot of guys that came in that can really help us out in the front court. So, uh, you know, it's really great to finally you know have some help down low. You know, just in case, you know, maybe I get in foul trouble or you know just certain situations like that. We have people to go to. You know, to help me out in the front court, and uh, you know, and Terrence, you know, he's one of the big, biggest guys that can, you know, really, you know, have a major impact on me on the front court and stuff like that. So uh, it's great. You guys played small a lot last year. Do you guys, at least in practice this fall, do you see more? Do you see you guys run a more bigger set? Do you guys feel more comfortable playing big than you did last year? Yeah, most definitely. You know. Um, like you said before, you know, we used to, we usually play, you know, small with uh Travion Graham at the four, but you know, now that we have more depth, like I said before, we're able to, you know, move him to the three and then, you know, have a bigger front court, you know, I think that's gonna help us out a lot, being able to play big. Jamonte, what have you seen out of Jared Guess? How much has he improved and what are we gonna be able to see out of him once he gets healthy? Uh Jared Guess, he's doing well, you know, uh he's coming back, you know, stronger than ever. His worth act has been great, you know. Uh, there's never been a day where he's not, you know, putting in the work, and uh, I think it's really going to pay off for him. Uh, you can look forward, you know, the high motor energy, you know, just all over the place, rebounding, uh, trapping, you know, just pretty much doing all the stuff that uh, guys do with high energy. You know, he just has a high, really high motor, so uh, I'm looking forward to uh, seeing you know, him do big things. Rob, you guys are, you guys can't well, uh, preseason. So the expectations this year are pretty high. Do you guys, I mean, do your own expectations, does that stuff surprise you or do your own expectations meet that sort of thing? And how do you guys deal with that internally, you know, those big external expectations? Um, you know, it's nice that we were ranked, you know, that high in the preseason, but, you know, us three and, you know, the leadership, the Coach Smart, you know, we won't allow us to, to buy into that right now. You know, we got to go out there and make it happen. So that's the main thing, you know, we've been preaching and, you know, making sure that guys understand that we haven't done nothing yet. 
and you know we're still hungry and we always bring up last year especially not you know winning that um a 10 championship or you know going deep into the tournament like we, that was our goal so you know we still got a chip on our shoulder and i think everybody's you know just hungry and just salivating at the mouth just ready to get on the court what have you seen so far this fall that you like about this team um i think uh you know just the depth of the team and how many unselfish players we got you know uh, you look down at the roster we have a lot of players that can that can go you know go out for 20 you know any given night but you know everybody you know is willing to do what they have to do to make sure you know we we get wins and you know we reach our goals so uh, you know I love the unselfish nature of this team especially you know with Terrence you know coming in he's probably one of the most unselfish guys I play with and the season haven't even started yet where he just wants to come in and just contribute and do what the team needs you know same with Javante he's never been the one to say I'm going to go out and score 20 points and grab 12 rebounds you know that'd be nice <laughs> we'll take that, but you know that's not his nature. His nature is do whatever. You know, as long as we get the win, you know that's all that matters. And that's what I love about this team right now. For both Javante and Rob, I know you guys said you, know, you haven't done anything yet, but you just addressed the depth. With that depth you have back, how excited are you guys just to see how far you can go? And is this the deepest team you guys have been a part of since you've been here? Uh, I'm really excited. You know, this is by far the deepest team uh, we've had since I've been here. You know. Uh, you know, past past few years, you know, we really only play like maybe six to seven guys, but this year we we'll probably be able to play at least about ten guys. You know, that's how deep we are. You know, and that's how good of players that we got that just came in. You know, everybody, like Rob said, can go out and uh, you know just go off any given night. So uh, it's great, you know, to finally have you know the depth that we have now and uh, be able to play more players. And Rob, if you can touch on that. Um, yeah, you know what Javante said, just to be able to play that many players, you know, and not have a drop off in, you know, production, that's the main thing right there. You know, if we could go 10 deep and keep that level of intensity, you know, without a drop off, you know, when the starters get off the court, you know, it just fits into, you know, the, our playing style, which is havoc. You know, we can continue just to keep that pace and keep running. And, you know, knowing that, you know, you have uh, somebody ready to come get you if you get tired. You know, this makes you want to play even harder when you're out there, whether it's, you know, two minutes, five minutes, just give it your all. So, the de you know, the depth of this team is is uh, something special. Rob, they play 10 deep, but a few of those guys are going to have to be freshmen, newcomers. What have you guys uh, noticed, been impressed by by some of the, the newcomers who practiced thus far? What do you tell them as a guy who played big minutes as a freshman? Um, you know, I've been impressed the way that, uh, you know, a lot of freshmen just been coachable. They just want to learn. You know, sometimes freshmen, you know, they could feel like they know it all or they could feel like they don't need help. But, you know, a lot of the, the freshmen on the team, you know, they, they come to me, they come to Terrence, you know, they come to Javante's, you know, big brothers when, you know, they need help or they need to realize, you know, what they need to do. And, you know, because of that, I think that they'll be, uh, you know, moving along forward faster than, you know, usual. So, and, uh, you know, one thing I try to tell the guards is, you know, it's okay to make mistakes, you know, just go out there and just play hard. And everything can take care of itself. You know, they always ask me questions since I've been playing. You know, big minutes since my freshman year, so I feel like I could be a good resource to them. You first on the scene, it seems like yesterday, William and Mary, uh, you and Javante, you guys believe you're seniors? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's wild. You know, I, my career here is it's flown by. You know, Coach Smart told me that it was going to go by fast. And uh, at first, I didn't believe him, but, you know, now I'm a believer. You know, like, <laughs> I could, like just yesterday, I, f I felt I was just a freshman, and now I'm a senior. It's my last year, so uh, you know it's been great, and uh, I plan on you know going out with a big man this year. Off that question, as a senior comes leadership responsibilities. Rob and Javante, have you thought about your plan to be a leader this year? Oh, definitely. Been thinking about that, you know, since the season ended last year, and you know I feel like me and Javante, you know, come a long way because you know Javante he's not the most you know vocal person, you know, neither am I, but we found out, you know, it's different ways to lead, you know, for me, for, I mean, for myself, I take pride in doing things, you know, the right way and, you know, trying to do things, you know, uh, correct. So I lead by example and, you know, whenever someone needs, you know, someone to look up to or like needs, you know, um, guidance, you know, they can look at me like he's doing things the right way. The same with Javante. So it's just different ways to lead. And, you know, I feel like, um, you know, we definitely uh, stepped up, you know, our leadership roles, and we're definitely more vocal. So, you know, you got to be vocal. But other than that, you know, just, just leading different ways and just being a leader, just being there for the team. Parents, you've been yeah, uh, the years. Um, when you go 
what's the name at any point? You know, I'm going to say nothing at first. Multiple seasons. I mean, I don't think about injuries. I mean, I, they come with the way I play. I'm used to it. I mean, like I said, it all started when I told my ACL my junior year in high school. So, I mean, it, it doesn't matter to me at all. Is there, is there any way that you've been able to get through that over the years or mentally or, you know, how have you managed to, to you know, wade through that? I mean, it's funny to say because they always say I'm the grandpa on the team. But the older <laughs> I get, the older I get, the better I, better I deal with them. So, I mean, it doesn't bother me. Um, hold on, answer that again. What were you able to take away both as a player on the floor, but also maybe from a leadership standpoint at the LeBron camp, but also the Amari camp in terms of playing, playing with and learning from some of the best in the country? <clears throat> uh, well, first of all, I, I learned that, you know, I can compete with anybody basically in the country. You know, uh, I've been told that before. You know, Coach Smart tells me that all the time, you know, I'm a good player and there's no reason why I shouldn't be, you know, at those counts, which I, um, you know, earn myself. But, um, you know, I learned that, you know, I could be a leader on and off the court. Um, you know, I'm like in the past, I really, you know, didn't do a good job, you know, leading myself. You know, I like kept to myself. But, um, you know, I've been working on it and Coach Smart been on me about, you know, becoming a leader and, you know, going to the camp. And he's saying, you know, most people that go to camps, you know, when they come back, they feel like they're entitled to, you know, something else. But, you know, I stayed humble and, uh, you know, I came back and, you know, tried to teach some of my uh, teammates, you know, what I learned at the camp. And, you know, I think I've done a good job, you know, um, leading and, you know, just trying to teach the young guys, you know, uh, what I learned. And, uh, you know, it's helped me out a lot. Uh, you know, I'm not going to lie, you know, uh, it kind of, you know, it's bothering me a little bit, you know, people's in my ear, you know, I got people trying to, you know, talk to me almost every day, but, you know, like I said, I got great teammates, you know, they're they're telling me, you know, not to worry about that stuff, and Coach Smart, you know, being the great coach he is, you know, he just let, tells me not to worry about it, just basically worry about the team and uh, what I need to have, get done and, uh, you know, just everything else to take care of itself. Hey, guys, with the new way they're calling hand-checking now, have you guys had a you won't change your style of play, of course, but does it make you be a little bit more careful when you when you apply that press? The new style of play is the weirdest thing I think they ever added to college <laughs> basketball. It takes away from the physicality of the game, and that takes a lot away from my game. Uh, I mean, I understand you have to be more sound on defense now, but it everything works in favor of the offense. Everything. And what do you guys think? Just from the you know you. The way you've applied the press your other three years here, will that change at all? I mean, I'm sure you'll keep the same style, but will, do you have to kind of change up your strategy at all from that? You just got to be uh, smart and adjust. That's the main thing that coaches have been preaching to us uh, is to adjust, you know, how referees are calling the game now. But I think, you know, with the new rules, that's not going to affect, you know, how many deflections we get, how many, you know, good traps we get, how active we are, the energy we bring. So I feel like, if we, you know, take care of, you know, the energy thing, getting, you know, our hands on the basketball and just creating havoc, you know, we should be fine. So we just got to be smart, you know, when we're is pressuring pressure the ball 94 feet, you know, and things like that. But I think uh, we'll adjust and, you know, the beginning of the season is going to be kind of tough, you know, a lot of inconsistency, but it's got to stick with the process. Going off of that, um, on the offensive end of the floor, have you guys seen uh, an added emphasis on, on 